drive anywhere in Kelloland and it won't be long before you pass a farm, but have you ever given that farm or the people who work there much thought? Chances are the answer is not really. That is something that the Washington Pavilion is hoping to change with its new Grow It exhibit at the Kirby Science Discovery Center. Jason Folkerts is the director of museums at the Washington Pavilion, and he's here to tell us more about the 3,000 square feet of agriculture-themed exhibits and why it's important for area kids to check it out, whether they live in the country or in the city. I'll tell you, this is true. I grew up in the city, and I was a college kid before I learned a lot about farm life. Yeah. I could have used this exhibit as a kid. You know, it's an exciting exhibit on a lot of levels. Um, there's kind of this image, I think there's this image, this idea of kind of a grandfather's farm or grand grandpa and grandma kind of feeling, which is there. But what we try to do with this exhibit is really brought it to the modern day. And it has all the charm of that, but it also has a lot of the technology, um, a lot of the ideas and concepts of modern day farming, which we're really deep into in South Dakota. Our state is agriculture all the way. So this exhibit really pays a lot of tribute to that. And I think everybody who is either they live in the city or if they're from the uh, country life, they are going to really, really enjoy uh, all the things that we provided with this brand new, like you said, 3,000 square foot, two room, massive uh, exhibit that we're gonna we have opened up and is now in operation today. Today's the day. Yeah. And tell us about what I think we can agree is probably our favorite exhibit. There's a Kello little spot. There is. Yes. In fact, I'm looking behind you, and you can see in the corner there, and it's like a wonderful 4D movie experience. Um, you have some of your own on-air personality there. I think Jay Trobeck is the one who's there, and uh, he is kind of guiding you through uh, the different seasons and weathers of, of South Dakota and how it affects farming. And we have a very diverse weather here, as everybody knows. And, of course, farmers, more than anybody else, watch weather. And so does Kello, right? Yes. And uh, so I think you have to come down and experience it. You don't just watch it. You experience it. And it has all this interactive, uh, like, for so example, when the wind blows, it may blow in there. And when the tornado comes, you're going to feel some rumbling. So it's pretty cool. I can't wait to check that out. You know, yeah. we love being part of, of this as well. It's kind of, it's just really special. We've to enjoyed to working with you guys here at Kello on that. Tell me about some of the other exhibits. Maybe highlight some of your favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it, one of the things I'm really excited about that we've been working hard on is it, it's a fully interactive experiential experience. So when you go into it, you're kind of making your way through our state and the different avenues uh, of how farming affects us. So there's a tractor you can drive and move across a, a South Dakota farm. We've got a barn that you can climb into and have fun with and pull out uh, uh, things that we market. Uh, we have a crop lab. We can do some ethanol testing and an actual field of corn and believe it or not, turnips and other things you can pull out and scan. Uh, we have a climber and it's actually a climber you go into the earth. So it's like what's underneath the farmland. You can climb around in that and experience what's going on there. We've got a, I call it the crop drop. The crop and drop. This yes. is interesting. You were sort of telling me about this. I'm really this. excited about this. Okay. It's a ball drop, but it would call it the crop drop. And you can feed a cow or you can put gas into a vehicle, which is a pickup, and then it shoots through the tubes, go up to the ceiling. And about every two or three minutes, the bin above you fills up with the different crops and it rains down on you, all the different crops. So you can refill it and it's pretty cool. Sort of illustrating to kids that crops are more than the food they eat yeah. on the table. Yeah, it's amazing. In our state, it isn't just the food that we eat, but they use crops for a varied, uh, you know, different avenues of, of, of production. And you're going to learn about all that. It's highly educational. Very educational. Sounds very interactive. We're seeing some video, too, and it looks like so much fun. I can't wait to go try it out for myself. Is it because we're here in South Dakota that it was important to have this big of an agriculture-based yeah. You know, we have a South Dakota floor at, at the pavilion. Now it's completely re renovated. We've redone that in the last couple of years. And it really gives homage to so much of what we're known for. And you really can't uh, go far without thinking South Dakota and agriculture. You can drive anywhere you want or even a couple of minutes outside of our city and you're going to bump into it. So it was really important to do that. It was really important to show that tribute to them as well and all the hard work they do and how it benefits our state. So I think, again, I just really encourage people from the Midwest and especially our state, you need to come and see this. Uh, if you have a background in farming, you're going to love it. It's going to be a real tribute to you. If you don't know a lot about farming, you will learn a lot, and probably, especially South Dakota farming. Yeah, probably really show some of these kids, too, that maybe have only experienced their grandpa's farm or, yeah. or books or pictures or yeah. movies about farms that precision ag and the, and the way that agriculture is going, it's, it's very scientific. It's very robust. I mean, the oh, careers yeah. and the futures in this, in this field are yeah. endless. Well, we worked with an amazing company out of Ohio that fabricated it, but we designed it. And I was really fortunate as a director to be able to get out there and rub shoulders and meet people in that field in farming and high tech, um, from pork producers to corn producers to ethanol to 
all these different things, tractors, Ravens involved with that, as you can see. And what really we learned is that you're right. The technology is incredible. I got to be honest with you. Some of these tractors, it's like driving the space shuttle. I, it, it's incredible. It's, it, it's, uh, it's quite an operation. Uh, and so you just get a chance to marvel at the, uh, the technology and just where it's all going with farming in South Dakota. A major business worldwide, and we're a big part of it. Let's talk a little bit about the details. Yep. You are open now. People can go yep. check it out. What else do we need to know to make sure we are there? What do we need to do? Yeah, yeah. You know, we're, we're practicing after COVID-19, or we're in COVID-19, high sanitation. Uh, we're cleaning all the time, so don't be fearful of that. We'll see interactors walking around cleaning. We will all be wearing masks on the floor, so if you see me, you'll see my mask on. Uh, we have uh, a real good partnership so far making that a clean and safe environment. We're open from 10 until 5 uh, and during the weekdays. And on Saturday and Sunday, it's noon to 5. Come on down. We also have great membership uh, rates available right now on a monthly basis. So we're encouraging everybody to come down, become a member, and really take advantage of what we think is the gem of Sioux Falls is the Washington Pavilion. And the museums are alive and moving. We have this. Of course, we have the art museum. Uh, there is a lot happening. And so I just, again, encourage people, come down, support us. Uh, see what's happening, guaranteed with this one exhibit and many others, our art museum, which has a huge permanent collection show. All these things going on, you're going to walk out of there and go, wow, uh, the Cynodome, other things that are going on. It is well worth your day to come down to the pavilion and have fun doing it. And it is a really big building. You've got a lot of room to spread out. Lots of room. Beautiful. So yeah. we did talk a little bit about how this is the final piece to the South Dakota floor. Yeah. Briefly, what are a few of the other things around there if someone watching hasn't really been part of that yet? Well, you know, it's exciting in that we have uh, three floors on the Science Center side. The opening floor is a space floor. We also have a room to grow, which is a water room area. You make your way to the second floor. We have a dinosaur area. We have a quarry area. We have a stage performance area. And now we have this, the agricultural grow it area. Go to the top floor. We have, and by the way, this floor sponsored the whole area by Avera, but go up above it is Sanford. We have the Sanford uh, Health Quest and, and that huge area where you can learn about the human body. And we just added a brand new exhibit there, a reactionary timetable thing. You're going to love it. Come on out. You're going to get your sweat up and get going on that one. We've got a climbing wall by Shields in that area as well. We have the Fit Zone. And we always have a good traveling exhibit like Forever Forest. So just on that side alone, plus the Cynodome. So much to do. Tons to do. It was one of my favorite things as a kid, and that hasn't changed. So thank good. you so much for sharing this brand yeah. new exhibit with us. We can't wait to check it out. Come on down. We're open.